Good evening. You're watching the news from the South on Otofaman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues two royal decrees. The volume of trading in Islamic banking in the Sultanate amounts to 350 million Obani rials in the first quarter of this year. Oman oil records its highest price this year, reaching $44.50. And 9,000 violating laborers are deported after coordinated campaigns between the Minister of Manpower and Royal Oman Police. Live from the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, here we present to you the details of the 7 p.m. news. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has issued two royal decrees. Royal Decree number 27 over 2016 issuing law organizing work of engineering consultancy offices. Article 1 enacts the attached provisions of law organizing work of engineering consultancy offices. Article 2, this decree shall be published in the official gazette. Royal Decree number 28 over 2016 issuing systems of Institute of Public uh, Administration. Article 1 enacts the attached systems pertaining to Institute of Public Administration. Article 2, the Chairman or Board of Directors of Institute of Public Administration shall issue a list and decisions necessary to implement provisions of the attached systems and uh, until the insurance of those lists and decisions, the laws and systems applied on units of the state's administrative apparatus shall be effective in that where is no special text mentioned in this system and not contravening with its provisions. Article 3 cancels Royal Decree number 42 over 90 and cancels cancels all that contradict with this decree and the attached system or contravene with their provisions. Article 4, this decree shall be published in the official gazette and shall come into effect from the date of uh, issue. Three hundred and fifty million Omani rials was the volume of trading of Islamic banking in the Sultanate during the first quarter of the current year. This was revealed during a dialogue session held by the Shura Council to acquaint the society with the new windows available in the field of Islamic banking in the Sultanate. The event also shed light on challenges facing the sector. The participants focused on the need to provide products to government bodies. They also proposed solutions to deal with the overlapping between products provided by conventional banks and those provided by Islamic banks. Regional and international experiences in the fields were also discussed. Through such sessions, the Shura Council seeks to acquaint public and private establishments with roles it's undertaking, and in turn, the council members get acquainted with these establishments' views with regard to legislative frameworks. His Excellency Yu Fulong, Ambassador of China, accredited to the Sultanate, praised active and positive efforts being exerted by the Sultanate in solving regional and international cases or causes. At a press conference, His Excellency stressed that the Sultanate had contributed considerably in developing relations between his country and Arab countries since long time ago. He also said that an initial agreement was reached to establish Omani Chinese Industrial Park in Dukum Special Economic Zone, which will be launched before the end of the current year. His Excellency also affirmed that his country will enhance cooperations with the Omani side in the fields of manufacturing, transport, logistic, mining, fisheries wealth and tourism, in addition to training and qualifying cadres as to achieve integration among Omani and Chinese development stages, strategies. 994,000 barrels per day was the Sultanate's crude oil production during last April, with an increase by 1.5%. Meanwhile, Omani crude oil price continues to rise in global market. It recorded an increase at Dubai Mercantile Exchange by more than 8% this month compared to last April. 
China, the biggest importing country of Oman, crude oil recorded a decrease in last April by 4.16% compared to its import rate in March 2016. Meanwhile, Taiwan, India and the United States increased their importing activities of Oman crude oil as to reach 1 to 4.5%. Philippines imported around 2%. New Zealand was also among importing countries of Oman crude oil with 1.48%. These affirm the continuous demand in global markets for Oman crude oil. Meanwhile, the average price of Oman oil June delivery recorded an increase at Dubai Mercantile Exchange amounting to 39 US dollars, increasing with three dollars compared to the price for May delivery. Price of Oman oil July delivery reached 44 US dollars and 50 cents. Dubai Mercantile Exchange said that Oman oil price today rose by 2.47 dollars from the price of yesterday, which was 42.03 US dollars. Around 9,400 violating workers were deported. They were arrested by a joint inspection team of the Ministry of Manpower and Royal Oman Police during last year in all governorates of the South Unit. The inspection campaign came to regulate the status of the establishments and ensure that they are following the regulations as to meet their needs of expatriate manpower. The Ministry of Manpower gave a six-month grace last year for establishments and violating workers to correct their conditions. Around 25,717 workers benefited from this period. The investigation compare or campaign included last year 9,176 violating establishments. Oman Air announced that its aircraft is scheduled uh, or of scheduled flight 405 bound from Muscat to Cairo made an emergency landing in the Qatari capital Doha yesterday evening due to one passenger was exposed to a sudden illness. Oman Air in its account or Twitter mentioned that due to late response to that health condition it had been decided to return the flight to Muscat due to exceeding specified flight hours by the crew and they were replaced by another crew. The flight left for Cairo early this morning after a 12 hour delay over its original timing. Still to come in our news bulletin. Workshop in the Governorate of the Far discusses challenges and dangers to frankincense trees. عن ادب عماني يجب ان نعطي حقه في فتره ركود نصيب يشابه بيوت الغنى مو صدى بيبانها للطارقين القصيده في الاساس هي فكره بس كيفيه توسيط الفكره المتلقيه ايش فيك وانت تنتظر؟ من تنتظر؟ وانا لي اكثر من عمري وانا مقضيها مسيرة القصيده الواعيه هي القصيده اللي تؤثر مباشره في الروح عطني دقيقه من يديك اقطف لك الدنيا قلب يشتاق لك ويموت فيك الشعر اللي ما عرف يلفت انظار يترك مجال الشعر ويتبع امور. ميم القصيد البرنامج المهتم بكل ما يهم الشاعر والشعر في ساحتنا الشعبيه هنا في عمان. تشرق الشمس بفقرات متنوعه برؤيه عصريه بنكهة مختلفة وأجواء مرحة بروح عمانية ليفوح شذا اليوم مع قهوة الصباح Welcome back to the news from the Southern Oman Television.
A number of matters of mutual concern and ways of uh, stepping them up to serve the interest of both countries were at the focus of meeting of His Excellency Mohammed bin Nasser Rasmi, Secretary General of the Minister of Defense, with Alan F. Stevens, first deputy to the Undersecretary of Defense Department for Procurement, Technology and Logistics of the United States of America. They also had cordial talks. Rear Admiral Abdullah bin Khamis al Raisi, commander of the Royal Navy of Oman, received Vice Admiral Ben Key, commander of British Navy Fleet. During the meeting, they had cordial talks and exchanged points of view on a number of matters of mutual concern. Explanation of training stages and occupational development at the National Center for Treatment of Diabetes Diseases and Endocrine Glands at the Royal Hospital topped matters acquainted by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed al-Saidi, Minister of Health, during graduation ceremony of 22 physicians trained on diabetes diseases program. They also dwelt on the signs of challenges made by diabetes at the level of individual and society. A top management meeting to review hospital quality assurance was held this morning at another hospital under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Saif Al Husni, Under Secretary of the Minister of Health for Health Affairs. More details in the following report. In consistence with the Minister of Health's efforts toward enhancing health care services for all, another hospital represented by the Quality Management and Patient Safety Department organized today a top management meeting to review quality assurance in the presence of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Saif Al Husni and the Secretary of Health Affairs and a number of hospital senior officials. The meeting aimed at discussing the department's achievements during the last year and the challenges faced in the same period. It in addition ways of creating methods and approaches to ensure patient safety and developing health care in the hospital. Moreover, the meeting presented data on the hospital performance, achievements accomplished in the field of quality management and auditing system were also highlighted in the meeting. Furthermore, heads of department presented achievements goals and future plans set to develop the delivery health services. It's worth mentioning that quality assurance is the planned or systematic actions necessary to provide adequate confidence that a patient's services or safety will satisfy given requirement for quality. Activities of the rhythms uh, of the desert exhibition started at Centre Franco Omani's. The exhibition included 20 artistic print uh, paintings drawn by the Omani artist Ali Al Marshudi. The Omani artist used uh, surrealism art uh, to draw him paintings that embodies uh, details of the Omani desert environment and human, social, and cultural relations. Musket Securities Market MSM closed today at 5,969 points with an increase of 20 points compared with last sessions which amounted 5,948 points. Reported release by MSM pointed out that the market value increased by 0.15%. Supported uh, by the Occidental Oman Company Office of the Governor of al Wusta in cooperation with the Director General of Education held a ceremony to honor students who excelled in their studies. The honoring ceremony came as part of social responsibility of the company to honor 79 male and female students in the governorate who excelled in their studies. The honoring ceremony is considered a motivation to students to exert more efforts in their studies. The celebration included various activities like traditional arts and dances of the governor rate. Citizens in the villages of Ashabia and Ahay and Nahwa in the Wilaya of Rostak look forward to reconstructing one-way underpass which daily witness a traffic jam, especially in the morning time. The underpass is recently used as pedestrians crossings uh, which increased the traffic jam. It is an old structure and only small vehicles can go through. School students uses it to go to school as it is the only thoroughfare which makes it dangerous. 
procedures. The citizens appeared uh, to the concerned bodies to reconstruct the underpass to accommodate them. The traffic both ways in order to reduce the traffic jam. Khasab Sports Club in the Governorate of Musandama organized fourth Khasab Youth Forum in cooperations of Oman Committee of Youth of World Ship and a number of supporting bodies and institutions. The forum aimed to increase the youth concern and supply them by knowledge and experiences that support their desire and orientations at sports, cultural and social fields. The forum, which focused on youth aged between 17 to 40 years, reviewed a number of personal successful experiences and hosting experts in holding work sessions in fields of communications, basics in public relations, in addition to a lecture in methods of creating small and medium-sized enterprises. Challenges and threats to the environment as desertification and organized overgrazing topped the discussions of the workshop organized by the Oman Environment Association in the Governorate of the FAR. The workshop discussed study and protect frankincense tree amid a wide participation of experts and those who concerned about environment. The Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs seeks to put success solutions to preserve frankincense tree which became as endangered plant. Entertainment, social and cultural events in the wilayas of the government of Musandam were organized by Oman Telecommunications Company Oman Tel and one of the social initiatives assigned to it. All members of the families enjoyed the activities. Events also reflected Omani community cohesion and uh, rapprochement. And now for the general weather forecast clear to partly cloud skies will prevail over the coastal areas overlooking Sea of Oman with chances of scattered rainfall. The rest of the southernet will have clear skies. Winds will be north to northeastly light to moderate or occasionally active over the coastal areas. Seas will be moderate to rough with a maximum wave height of 3 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues two royal decrees, issuing law organizing work of engineering consultancy offices and issuing system of Institute of Public Administration. The volume of trading in Islamic banking in the Sultanate amounts to 350 million Omani reals in the first quarter of this year. Oman oil records its highest price this year, reaching $44.50.
and 9,000 violating laborers are deported after coordinated campaigns between the Minister of Manpower and Royal Oman Police. With that, uh, we come to an end of tonight's uh, news bulletin. From all of us here in the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, we thank you for joining us. Wish you a very good evening and good night.